Fortnite is definitely one of those games that will leave a scar on the gaming community. I remember running off the bus to get on my PS4, just so I can squad up with some of my friends from school. Although I was never really good at the game, I still played it, because I always got adrenaline from it. Getting one shot by a soccer skin, and then the guy continuing to do the L dance on you, there's just something about that which made me want to play the game more. Fortnite was the biggest game in the world. Everyone was talking about it. Now I can go on meme pages, or just talk to my friends, and they won't mention anything related to Fortnite. Fortnite put a huge majority of games into irrelevancy. But how did this game start to die off? In this video, I'll be talking about the rise and fall of Fortnite. But to start this topic, let's talk about the rise first. Fortnite blew up around Season 2. Season 2 was home of the double pump, and when building was used more frequently. People caught up on the game because it was unique. It was different to all the other games. Games like PUBG and H1Z1 were blowing up at the time, so it only makes sense that Battle Royale games would blow up as well. And obviously, Fortnite took advantage of this. It was a PS Plus game for a while, and usually games that are on PS Plus blow up fast. I mean, just think of Fall Guys. By Season 3, Fortnite was the biggest game in the world. And even when it was the biggest game, it still managed to keep growing. Drake played the game, Marshmallow played the game, almost everyone was playing the game. Everyone was quitting their main game just to play Fortnite. And the game lasted about seven seasons. So how did this booming game with millions of players every single day playing just die? One day, everyone's playing this game with millions of players per day. And the next day, everyone's disregarding it and moving on to other games. Games like Roblox and Minecraft gained their relevancy again. And Fortnite was being pushed down into a game that not many people talk about. When I went to join my friend's party, they weren't playing Fortnite. Fortnite just wasn't a thing anymore. No, I think there's a variety of reasons why the game died. And although I don't think the game's completely dead, it's just not as relevant as it used to be. Now the first reason for Fortnite's disappearance, I would say, it just wasn't the same anymore. Everyone was quitting the game and going back to their original games they were playing. And many YouTubers who originated their channels around it were just evolving. Many streamers stopped streaming Fortnite, and that being said, many viewers stopped watching it. All the game really was, was drop down, go to your area you want to land at, get loot, either win the game or die, and then play another game. Repeat. There was very little changes, and if it was, it's still, at the end of the day, that cartoon, same mechanic game. Now on to my second reason. The game was very toxic. Every time you saw a soccer skin, it's almost instant you'll know that they're going to be toxic towards you. And I know this pissed off a lot of people, and that's including me. The feeling of someone knocking me down, and then doing the laugh it up emote, it just wasn't a good feeling. And whatever, if it happened to you like once or twice, that doesn't matter. But it happened every single game. On top of that, everyone was insanely sweaty at the game. I closed my eyes for only a single second, and the guy already built a huge skyscraper. What happened to camping inside buildings? Or camping in bushes? The game was way too reliant on building. On top of that, you were essentially bullied off the game if you didn't have a skin, and the overall experience of all of this just wasn't pleasant for anyone. But let's talk about the third reason now. All values of the game were basically meaningless. Before, when you had a skin, you actually meant something in the game. You felt something. You felt like you were better than everyone. Like when I had my reaper skin, I felt like the reaper. I felt like I was unstoppable. Also, the value of winning a game just felt so awesome before. I remember getting my first ever win on Fortnite in duos, and I literally screamed, and I think I broke my headset accidentally. I'm not even lying. And getting a win was a rare occasion. It wasn't like something I did every game. I think I've only gotten a win every week. That also pumps up the value of good players, like Ninja, and that's why he was so loved in the beginning stages of Fortnite. But now it seems everyone's getting wins, and the value of Ninja and all these good people are just plummeting. Another thing they screwed up were item values. Before, getting a golden scar was almost impossible, and now if you play, you're gonna get a scar almost every single game and basically everything else. The value of Fortnite 
and everything included was just garbage. But now my fourth reason. There were so many other games that were just better. Eventually games such as Warzone just overtook Fortnite, and everyone was just making games that were better than Fortnite. Games like CSGO and Apex Legends were just a lot better. Although they were updating the game, it just seemed outdated. Just like GTA 5. But my last point. They weren't listening to the players. At the beginning, Fortnite, you could ask for change, and they'll give it to you. Like for an example, everyone was asking for a Tommy gun, and they added it. If they wanted a minigun, they added it. They made it easier to build on console, and they did everything people wanted. But then Fortnite stopped listening to its players. They started adding stupid things like planes and mechs, and everyone just wanted that gone. But for whatever reason, they just kept it. They only nerfed it, even when people were begging for them to get rid of it. They started putting skins that were original to Season 1 inside the item shop. Everyone is getting sick of the old Fortnite. They want a new Fortnite, just like Call of Duty. They want new online game modes that they can play with their friends, not just Battle Royale. They don't want them to add vehicles, which they added vehicles. When people got home, they're excited to turn on their PS4 or computer and play Fortnite, but that's no longer the case. Overall, the game was no longer what it used to be. But in conclusion, do I think Fortnite can come back alive? The game blew up once, I think it can do it again, but they need to start listening to everyone, all their fans, add new game modes, add change, make the game interesting. They need to fix their rarity system. I don't think anyone wants to go fishing and get a golden scar within the first five minutes of fishing. People want to experience the nostalgia from getting a scar and actually enjoying the scar. And honestly, if Fortnite keeps the way it's going right now, it's just going to be another EA ripoff, giving us game modes that we don't want and no change. But yeah, that's basically the end of the video. Go subscribe to Pie Melon. he gave me this idea on Discord. His link is in the description, so please go check him out. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and tell me a little bit in the comment section below. Also, go ahead and join my Discord. I talk to everyone inside of it, but that's about it. Peace.